speakers to come on up. Let's say hello to Emma and Chris. Whoops. Oh, am I gone? Oh, now you're back. back. Okay. <laughs> there we go. This is a cool platform. It is. It's worked yeah. pretty well so far. And we're just using the free version. So if it works out well, maybe we'll we'll keep going with this. And then I can put the Fedora wallpaper as the background. It'll be nice and pretty. Very Fedora uh, branded. Beautiful. All right. Well, we are pretty much at time. So I'll let's go ahead and yeah, I see your screen share here. Oh, yes. Oh, looks, nice. looks right to me. Uh, I will go ahead and jump off and be on the sidelines. If anything comes up, I'll be here to help. But otherwise, I will turn it over to both of you for an update on Fedora Week of Diversity. Hello. Ooh, thank you. So hello, everyone, and welcome to our session. Emma and I are here to talk about the Fedora Week of Diversity, also known as FWD. It's a special week where we celebrate the incredible diversity in the Fedora community and how and explore how it enriches our open source projects. Next slide, please. So we'll just briefly talk about the agenda for the presentation. There's an overview, the origin of the event, the event and how it links to the Federal Strategy of 2028, the statistics of the Federal Week of Diversity of 2022, and how to be part and and take part in the Federal Week of Diversity for this year. Next slide. Next slide, please. So for the overview now, we're talking about the who. Who is behind the Federal Week of Diversity? Who is responsible for it? What is it for? Who is it for? So the Federal Week of Diversity is organized by a group of people from the Diversity, Equity, Equity and Inclusion team. There has been several weeks of collaboration towards having a, a week that will showcase the federal's commitment towards towards diversity and inclusion. So there has been hard work towards this for like for 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 a lot of weeks. I don't want to give a number to say. So the event is aimed at the federal community as it's at the as so as the whole Sorry, I'm having problem with the slides from here. Can I maybe share my own screen? The, the text. Yeah, of course, small. if that's easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is my screen visible? Yeah, it is. Okay, so the event is aimed at the federal community as a whole and anyone else in the open source community. So it's not generally just a federal event. Everybody is welcome to take part in it and enjoy the event. So what what is the event? The Federal Week of Diversity is an annual event that takes that will take place from June the seventeenth of June to the twenty second of June. 2024 throughout the week we'll be publishing interviews of community members highlighting their contributor stories their incredible journey so far and what they have achieved over the time they are spent in Fedora. so the interviews will be shared throughout the week and we'll wrap it up with a virtual event that will be at the 22nd and 21st the event will be featuring talks panel discussions and social activities the Fedora week of diversity is a great opportunity to learn how people contribute to to open source communities and what they have been able to achieve so where similar to this event the event will be completely virtual the event will be completely virtual and the interview will be published on the community blog and instagram stories the conference will take place in metrics similar to this event the registrations are already open on quitix for now so we can use this link to register it will be live streamed straight to youtube and added as a widget in the metrics from similar to this event so when i've already i already mentioned this it will happen by june 17 to 22nd series of interviews with the community will be at the first days of the event towards the end where we wrap up with a virtual event a virtual two-day event. 
So why? There are a variety of reasons why the federal diversity exists. First and foremost, it's a chance to celebrate and highlight the amazing people who make federal what it is. We want to recognize the hard work and dedication of our community members and all they have been doing in the federal community and how they have been doing it. We also want to encourage contributors across federal to connect and collaborate. It's the Federal Week of Diversity also stands for collaboration. We want to see more collaboration and look forward to collaboration with individuals and contributors, how they share and learn on projects. So it also provides an opportunity for people to learn about free and open source software and inspire them to jumpstart their free and open source software journey. The Federal Week of Diversity is a time where we come together to honor the diverse voices, perspectives, and skills that enrich our vibrant community. So I'll just be chipping in this year. The DIA team were looking for volunteers to indicate interest and craft a short video for the week for the Federal Week of Diversity. So we just want you to share a message. Simply, you can record it with your phone. It's very simple, um, very simple video, very short video. Just share a message from every culture, every language, every walk of life. Federal brings us together as one community. Thank you. So I'll be passing on, passing it on to Emma now to take it on from here. Okay, thanks. Um, I'll just share my screen again. Yeah, lovely. Get rid of that. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so the Fedora Strategy 2028 then. So how does this event, I suppose, link in with um, our strategy for 2028? So there was two kind of particular points that jumped out to me that kind of seem related. So um, reaching the world. So Fedora maintains a strong network of thriving local communities around the world. And then also the community sustainability. So everyone in Fedora has a mentor and everyone in Fedora is a mentor. So I suppose that one's kind of more obvious with like the whole like knowledge share and kind of getting to know um, other people in the community, kind of putting a face to, you know, usernames behind the screen. It's very important. And I suppose it would kind of break down that barrier for some people um, to kind of reach out to more, to reach out to other contributors that they that they'd see would be active within the community. Um, origins of the event then. So FWD used to stand for Fedora Women's Day. Um, and that would have been an event or a series of local events that would have highlighted the women and non-binary contributors in open source communities. And um, so this would have changed to Fedora Week Diversity in March of 2021, following a DEI meetup and it also became a virtual event. So the change, I suppose, was just to kind of encapsulate more um, more people in the event, let more people kind of become in and like celebrate their diversity. And also then in 2021, you know, it was the middle of the pandemic, so it made sense to become a virtual event. But I suppose making it virtual makes it more accessible for more people. You know, people mightn't be able to show up to events in person. Um, and there's just a link there to um, previous Fedora Women's Days. There would have been quite a few of them. Um, so if you're curious there, it's just very interesting to look back on. Um, so statistics from our last week of diversity, which was 2022. We didn't have one in 2023, but we'll come back to that. Um, so in 2022, it was on Hopin. So we were able to get some statistics. So it's 62 registrants. And of those 68% turned up from the survey we would have done after the event, um, it was 9.3 out of 10, which is very good. And then there was 26 badges claimed. Um, and I also will add, there will be a badge for this week of diversity, if I'm not mistaken. So another reason to come along. Um, and the regional diversity then of that event, as you can see, our most popular one would have been the country of others, which I think is a stupid joke, but um, <laughs> but no, yeah, it would have been the United States with India coming in um, closely behind. So yeah, interesting to see all the different people that will be coming along. Um, past events then. 
So in 2021, um, we would have done a series called Fedora Stories. So it just kind of, there were like kind of mini interviews with different people around the community and just kind of giving highlights from their, you know, contributor journey and things like that. And I suppose that again would have helped kind of put a face to people behind the screen, kind of get um, people kind of familiar with each other. And just interesting to hear people from different backgrounds and how they got into the project. Um, in 2022, um, yeah, that was the one that was on Hopin. And um, you can see the schedule for that year. So there were some interesting talks like Be a Gender Ally by Sarah, which is a very powerful talk. Um, there was one by me um, talking about the accessibility working group, a panel discussion about diversity in open source, um, and then also like a fun social event. So that would have been Kahoot, and we'll also have another social event this this year. Um, yeah, so in 2023, um, we would have ran Fedora Appreciation Week instead. Um, so we just kind of focused all our attention on this week um, and then kind of started working towards this year's event. Um, they're quite similar, but Fedora Appreciation Week, um, it's about the people themselves thanking each other and kind of highlighting their peers' work, whereas um, the Fedora Week diversity is more about um, the DEI team finding and highlighting these diverse voices. Um, and also last year, it would have tied in with Fedora's 20th anniversary as well. So it's quite a nice way to celebrate. Um, yeah, so join the details then. So as mentioned before, I would have shared it in the chat earlier. Um, it's the same as this event register on Pretix and you get added into the room then. And it will also be streamed to the Fedora YouTube channel. Um, and just to make sure if you're watching it that way and not doing it through the matrix room to go to the streams tab on Fedora. So it'll pop up there because it won't come up under videos because um, they separate them for some reason. Um, and yeah, I probably talked really fast, but we are at the end. <laughs> so um, I don't know if there's any any questions in the in the audience today. Justin's coming back. Yeah, we do have two questions here so far. Okay. I was just trying to find the thread so I can bump it for our live audience. Uh, add questions here. So the first question that we have is, what is something that you are both personally excited about for Fedora Week of Diversity? I suppose for me, I'm just excited to see everyone, you know? <laughs> Which I know sounds silly, but like, because, yeah, but generally, just excited to see everyone and kind of just celebrate all the different kinds of people that would be, that are within the community. It's nice. It's kind of like a nice, a nice vibe, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Another thing to be happy about is usually the interviews that we publish on the community blog. It's always very nice to hear people's different thoughts on things and how things have been there. It's like living through someone else by reading their stories. It's always very inspiring that way. So I'll, I'll, I'm always looking forward to reading the interviews. Amazing. And then the second question that we have, I don't know if this, this might be more of an infrastructure question, but I'll put it out next to on board. Can we bring back the Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that now. I've I've heard of them, but I, I'm I'm not I'm not familiar. Yeah. Well, that one might also now that we have community shift back, I'd say that would be something uh if someone was interested in working on a Python Django project, it's definitely somewhere that we could use contribution. But happiness packets i'll put a link here in the public chat is this open source project that's mission is basically to help people get better at remembering to thank each other and share their gratitude and appreciation with each other and in 2019 we had a fork of that project as an outreachy project for fedora happiness packets and it reskinned the website to the fedora brand and it actually worked with the fedora messaging bus so like theoretically you could you could get Cook, uh, get Fedora badges or other things by uh, sending and receiving thank you notes to other Fedora contributors. 
However, the project has been on ice for a little bit, uh, mostly because we had challenges with deployment and then COVID happened and then a lot of things happened. So uh, if that is something that's interesting to someone, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, but uh, I know that's definitely more of an infrastructure question. I think this next one is probably one that's a little bit easier for both of, uh, for Week of Diversity is where do we sign up to participate in future events other than this specific uh, Week of Diversity? Do, does that mean kind of have to join the team rather or? or? Yeah, you know what? I think it probably is a question about joining the team because that's where we, we, we drive all these events through the DEI team. Yeah, exactly. I have to look up on the Fedora on the docs page just to see if there's a page on our meetings. Um, because I do know we meet every every two weeks, isn't it, Justin? Um, that sounds right. Yeah, it kind of alternates between um, matrix and then video and audio um, meetings, and then also then if you want to become a member, there's a process to follow in the in the GitLab. Um, I'll just. I'll just see if I can find the meeting guide. I don't know if it's been updated with the new layout, but I'd say just join the our matrix channel for the time being, and then I know we'll be able to post um the meeting times in there. Sorry, I kind of glitched out there for a sec. <laughs> no problem. Perfect. All right, and. That looks like the end of our questions. I'm just going to scroll through the main chat just to see if there was something that did not make it into the thread. But I believe that was everything. All right. Well, thank you, Emma and Chris, for the update on Fedora Week of Diversity. I am super excited to see it all come together next month and also continue the uh, new tradition of using Matrix as our event platform for virtual events in Fedora. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you again, both of you. Enjoy the rest of the release party. 